She's a Mona Lisa. Okay, right, so hello, my name is Jade Rose. If you're not new to this video, then you'll know that in the last video I posted, I asked you guys if you had any questions for me. Um, I would really like to, to get to know you guys more, which I kind of did in my questionnaire that I sent you guys. And obviously you guys always leave me comments, but I thought that maybe there are things that I haven't shared or you'd like to know about me um, if you have questions. And yeah, so this is what that, this video is all about. So let's get into the first question. How long and how many days do you work out? Okay, so my current routine, I do mostly Pilates. I do my Pilates four days a week and then I do kind of, I guess a 20 minute cardio session before my Pilates. So it will either be the cross trainer because I'm doing this at the gym. So it will either be the cross trainer. Sometimes it might be like the um, stair machine, although rarely because that stair machine kills me. And it's sometimes a bit too much to do before the Pilates or I would go on the treadmill. I also make sure that I walk one hour at least a day. So on the days that I'm not working out, I'm always walking an hour. And on the days that I am working out, I'm always walking an hour. Will you do fashion videos? Yes, I just need to figure out how to kind of format them. I want them to be helpful videos, you know, like um, for me anyway, when I watch fashion videos, I love ones that are super helpful and really make me think more about my style and things that I can get easily or buy easily as well. And that does require um, a lot of effort, a lot of time and preparation, which I'm clearly not afraid to do because you know, I have a YouTube channel. YouTube in general takes a lot of time, effort, preparation. But when it's something kind of new that I haven't done before, then you know, it might just take a little bit more time, but I definitely will do them. I love fashion, so. What is your ethnicity? I'm Congolese and I'm Angolan. I'm also a Central African Republic. I've heard my grandmother speak the language of this country, but I have no idea how to speak it. Me and my boyfriend are going to Angola this year, so I'm very excited. My mum and my sister just came back, so yeah. Especially since my grandmother died, I think visiting my family there is like a top priority for me right now. What do you want people to perceive you as? I can't really control the way other people perceive me, um, but if you do follow me on Instagram, you'll know that my kind of New Year's resolution is to just be the most authentically me that I possibly can, to share the most authentic version of me that I possibly can. Sometimes I really do get caught up in the people pleasing and, you know, afraid of what other people think and all of that. And I just need to be as close as possible to the person I truly am for me to feel happy. I hate feeling like I'm going against myself. What word would you use to, what word would I use to describe myself? Chill. How did you and your boyfriend meet? Who liked who first? So me and my boyfriend met at an event. So the event was at the Hyatt Hotel in Dusseldorf and I was working there. Well, I wasn't working at the event. I was working, you know, um, on a modeling job and then I was staying at that hotel and that hotel had an event. I was actually the one to approach him. I knew he was interested because I could see this guy's looking at me. So <laughs> I knew he was interested. Um, but yeah, I decided to approach him because I thought he was cute. We started talking a bit and then he wanted to get to know me more. And to be honest, at the time I did think we don't even live in the same like city, so why, why continue, right? But it was something about his consistency. It was something about the way he always showed up for me, the way he was always there for me, the way he was so reliable and just the warmth that came from him that made me realize like, this is my guy. To this day, I have such a feeling of security that he will be there for me anytime I need, all the time. And I don't ever feel the that questioning that you have, like, does he like me? Is he gonna be there? Does he like me? Or will he do that? Like Those kind of things that you feel or I would feel in other relationships or in other, I guess, situationships that I was in before. How long have you guys been together? So we've been together for six years. Do you meditate? Yes, I do meditate. I do more of like guided meditations, more for manifestation and just helping me be very clear on my goals. If you're like a Christian, you'll probably be familiar with the, the phrase or the idea that as humans, we were made in the likeness of God. And so I do believe that we have the power to make things happen. So we have that power of 
creation that God also has. And so we have more power to make things happen for ourselves than most people think. I also do pray, but my prayer is more heavily focused on gratitude and just thankfulness. Do you have stretch marks? Yes, I do. I get them very easily. Am I insecure about them? No. <laughs> However, I, it took me a while to get to this place. Um, I used to be very insecure about them. Now I, I, I don't care. No one is perfect and I think it's important to kind of focus on, you know, my, my better, you know, attributes and better features rather than focus on something so small, you know. I also think stretch marks are actually quite nice as well. Like now I do anyway. They have like a, just a nice little pattern and yeah, it's cute. What is a moment that altered the course of your life? I would say doing a study abroad, taking myself out of my regular environment made me see the world as bigger. It allowed me to see everything from a different and bigger perspective and make decisions based on that rather than the narrow-mindedness that I had before. I feel like I've given myself, you know, the power to have more choice for myself and learn how to interact with different types of people and cultures. And I do think when you just stay in your hometown, even though there's nothing really wrong with staying in your hometown, right? But when you stay in your hometown, you don't necessarily know of all of the different types of options and choices and things that are going on in the world that you could be doing. What was your childhood like? I had a really lovely childhood. I have amazing parents. My mum got pregnant with me when she was 16 and my dad was a, an orphan at the age of 18 and he was also a refugee. I think when they came together, they were, I mean, the only direction was up, right? So they decided, okay, we're gonna make the best life possible for us and our family and yeah. They gave us amazing lives. I have a brother and sister. We traveled all around the world on great, you know, holidays, like family holidays. We went to Florida, we went to New York, we went to Switzerland pretty much every year and France pretty much every year, Belgium. Do you have any regrets? Actually, speaking of like school, right? The one regret in my life, most things that were, you know, not so great or didn't work out, they were okay because, you know, you, you live and you learn, right? But I do regret going to a girl's school. I really loved it at the time, but I definitely think it made me see um, the opposite sex in a certain way. It made guys seem like a foreign species almost, or, you know, you have to like, you know, decipher everything and anything a guy says. And I definitely had to work a lot on undoing that kind of mindset. What motivates me, to be honest, right? I would say that I am more motivated by what I don't want. I don't want to be struggling. I don't want to be mediocre. I don't want to have regrets. I don't want to regret not doing my best and not knowing what could have been. I don't want to be an asshole. Have you ever had an eating disorder? I was a bit confused by this question, but to be honest, I am a model and I do talk about, you know, weight loss in some of my videos. So yeah, it could be like a possible misconception, right? So I personally have never had an ED, but I do sympathize with people who do have them. I think because I've struggled with my weight before and because I've tried so many things, I know it is to experience that whole, you know, uncontrollable kind of binging situation and then feeling bad about it, which I've talked before in other videos. And then I know what it feels like to feel like you're addicted to sugar and just feel like you have to have it over and over again. And then on the other side, right, I know what it's like to be overly meticulous and specific and over the top about every single thing that you eat. However, I've never had this feeling that I assume that people have when they have an eating disorder, the, the body dysmorphia part of it. I've never had a dislike for my body. I actually don't believe that it is nicer to be thinner than to be you know, curvier. I think that people rock it differently and there are people with banging bodies who are curvy, banging bodies who are thin, but that might also be to do with my culture as well. I know that in certain cultures, being thin is like oh, the thing to be. And then in other cultures being, you know, curvy is like, you must be, you know, if you don't have an ass then you're, you know. I would love to actually do a video explaining how to put on weight and how to get a bigger ass. However, this is YouTube. I mean, people are very visual when it comes to thumbnails. If I do a video talking about how to put on weight with my tiny self, 
Versus if there's another girl in a different thumbnail with a massive bum and beautiful hips and all of that, who do you think they're gonna click on, me or her? What are your long-term goals? I honestly, I just wanna be a YouTuber that helps other women to feel more confident about themselves. I wanna help people feel more comfortable in their own skin, which I think that I am doing now, so I'm living it, but I would love to live it on a larger, bigger scale. I really wanna grow my YouTube, hopefully to, 500,000 followers. I would just love to build my own community where everyone feels supported. I would also love to go back to university and get my master's in kinesiology, so, or sports science. I always wanted to do it, but by the time that I knew that was a thing, it was kind of too late. I, again, I feel like it's the going to a girl's school. Like, although I don't think it was on purpose, or I don't think they were like a misogynist school or anything like that, but I definitely think that they realized that certain subjects and certain things are more popular um, with most of the girls in school and it's what they kind of pushed more or talked about more. I never knew about engineering, which I probably would have loved to do as well since I was so good at maths. And then, yeah, I never realized that sports science was a thing. Modeling wise, I would love, love, love to be like the face of a great perfume brand. I wanna get married, I wanna be a mother one day, although I don't really wanna give birth, so. Uh, I'm not sure how that will work at all. I wanna have a big, beautiful home. I want to take my kids on like, you know, family holidays and stuff like I used to when I was, you know, a kid. Do you find it hard traveling for modeling? It's hard when you have to be away from home for a long time. So like if you're on placement in a different country or a different city, you have to kind of stay there for a couple weeks. And for me, when I get back home, it kind of throws off my schedule and my vibe and everything a little bit. I do, however, love doing like one-off jobs in different cities, maybe like two days, three days. It's hard to stay consistent with YouTube when I travel a lot. Like any time where I'm gone away, you'll probably realize, like if you see me on Instagram and I'm like in a different city or whatever, then yeah, my video might be a little bit late that week and that does happen. But I try so hard. Honestly, like, I feel like you guys always show up for me and I just wanna make sure that I'm really showing up for you. Why did you wanna model in the first place? I liked the idea of working with different people every time you work. Before modeling, I worked in the car industry and oh my God, every time you come in, it's like gossip and you know, drama and you know, different things happening. And it was just like, ooh, okay. Do you practice clean eating? No, there was a point in my life where I did and I was very, very meticulous and specific about everything I ate and it was had to be like this and it had to be like that. And I read the back of every box, but well, I still read the back of every box to be honest, because I like to know, right? I like to know because I think that knowledge is power, but I want to make the decision for myself. So I am definitely an 80-20 rule kind of girl. 80% of the time I eat what I know that I should be eating and I'm pretty clean. And then 20% of the time, that's when, you know, I just, you know, you know, I have my glass of Prosecco, you know, have like a burger. I will say though, it's most likely going to be a homemade burger and never likely going to be McDonald's. <laughs> but yeah, this is just the way I am though. Like I, I love um, learning about nutrition, health related things, wellness, you know, anything to do with the body, mind, soul. I watch documentaries and podcasts and I make little tweaks maybe based on the kind of things that I hear but I don't always, you know, apply everything. And so I haven't like shared too much in depth things. I don't necessarily go in to the deep science of everything that I, you know, know or everything I've learned or everything that I've experienced because the kings just get so much. Like I prefer to concentrate on improvement. If you're, you know, too obsessed with this kind of things and you try and implement everything and you're, you know, meticulous about it, these type of things can get very like cultish. It can be very intense and lots of pressure. And I just think it's more about improvement rather than perfection. Oh, and I think that's it. Oh my God. Okay, so thank you for everyone for submitting your questions. If you have anything to add or have your own experiences that you've had with any of the things that I've talked about today, then definitely tell me. We can have a little convo in the comments. And yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.